I thought maybe he was in the piano. Hey everybody, welcome back to Lost on Steam episode 51, where we show you three more games you never heard about on Steam, but they may be good, they may not be. I don't know, I've not played these. We just kind of go through a little bit raw, and then you decide whether it's worth your time to buy and invest the money. So here you go, let's just go through three more games. Might be good, I don't, I don't know. You'll have to be the judge of that. Ready? I'm gonna I'm gonna try once again to play Title Shock. I don't think it's gonna work. I've tried for the last three weeks in a row to get a game. If they had a player base, check this out. Also, here's the, here's a twist: iced tea. Today's iced tea, not hot tea, because it's like actually 85 degrees outside, which is real rare. Okay, this still not still doesn't work. Still doesn't work because no one's playing. So our first game is called Kill It With Fire Ignition. This is like a uh, kind of a demo or an early version to the game that's coming out later this summer. I think this is a game about exterminating spiders. Wait, we can just pick up the vase and like just drop the... Okay, there is a spider in that drawer. Ooh! Why? Close the drawer. Whoa! Okay, don't play this game. This game is, you should not be playing this. No one should be playing this game. Okay. How would you like me to do that exactly? Is this, is this our strategy? You know what, this is fine. I believe there to be a spider in here somewhere. And you know what? I'm gonna get it. Because this is how I do things in my regular life anyway. If you think for a second, that you can be a spider in this house and I'm not gonna find you? You are mistaken! Get him, get him, get him, smash, s smash him, got him. Worth it, you see? You see? Expert operation here. We immediately located and, uh, and killed the target. So all we had to do is destroy the entire bookcase uh, and kind of, there better not be a spider on that fan. Nah, see, I'm hearing. See, they make this little squeak. There's a spider under the- That is like a legitimate- ah! That- You- Where do you- ah! God, this is awful! Oh god, it's- it's running. Ha! Hmm. Unlock the TV stand? So it's like a legitimate fear of mine that there will be a spider like under a couch cushion or under a pillow or something. I wish I could use something else. This game creeps me the fuck out. It, it, it really shouldn't, right? This is just like a real, a real, is there one behind? There is! Oh, we've just unleashed the spider. Okay, okay, where are you going? Where are you going, big guy? I am I got the whole room cordoned off. This is how I do it at home. You, you make sure you draw a big circle around the area so they can't go anywhere. Oh my God, why is this house infested with spiders? Ah! What is that? I got a shuriken? I got a shirt. Okay. Well, these spiders are obviously doomed now. Is there a spider in this box? No. Spider. Is there a spider behind the TV? Spider. Is there a spider? Doesn't appear so. What about behind the TV? Does not appear so. Find the books! No. That box! Let's just pull all this crap off the shelf. There's bound to be a spider in here somewhere. Ugh! What? I don't see him. I'm being taken by surprise. Where? Oh! Ugh! Ugh! What? Hold on. Oh, I hear him crawling around. Hold on. I see him. One shot, one kill. Okay, it's extraordinarily difficult to kill spiders with shurikens. I don't know who thought this was a good idea. This is obviously not going to be... Okay, what? Hold on, I can just pick these back up. If the spider was not moving and was already a dead spider, I'd probably have a... Shurkin! Shurkin! Okay, you just, you just, you just hang tight. All right, where did he go? Okay, okay, here we go, here we go, me and him, him and me. Got him, first try. 
All right, there's another one, though, in here. You think there's a spider in here? I mean, this whole house, honestly, if, if we're being real with each other, just needs to be burned. There's no salvaging this at this point. There's, look, how many spiders did we find in here already? Seven? Shuriken! Okay. You know what? Oh, now he's loose. We're gonna track him down. He's not gonna get the best of us. We are the ones in control. Ah! Where the hell did you come from? Ah! It's a little on fire spider. Stop. I thought maybe he was in the piano. That may be untrue and that may be my mistake. Could be anywhere in the couch. Somewhere over here, maybe. Could be back here. Could be behind the door. There we go. There we go. Ugh! He's so fast. Hold on. You just, you just wait right there. Goodbye. Wait. Got him. Felt good. Felt like the uh, exact cr uh, correct amount of force. I dare you. I'm hiding behind the chair. Let's do it. Open the door. Mission complete. We did it. All right, so we're gonna wrap up the first one. That was Kill With Fire. It was surprisingly actually fun for something that's free and stupid. Um, and you can obviously wish this uh, wish listed on Steam and play it this summer. I would not be able to play a ton of this because I have a real problem with spiders. And even, you know, just watching, right? I, I don't like it when they're just popping out of stuff and you hear the, you know, I could deal without that. But if you, you know, don't have a problem with spiders, this is actually really not an unfun game to play. I just wish if it were butterflies, I'd be able to play it. Kill all the butterflies. Let's move on to our second game. Okay, so this is Black Skylands Origins. This is a free demo that you can play right now ahead of the initial release. So I don't know what that is gonna look like, but uh, this already has been getting some uh, some positive That's feedback. Okay, so here we are at the main screen. This is where we get to. Do I have a gun? Can I shoot? Talk to your father. Let's talk to our father. Okay, they're speaking a very strange language. Harvest the cabbages. Right, harvest the cabbages. Oh, I have, I have a grappling hook? Why in the world do I have a grappling hook? I mean, listen, I, I'm i okay. Like, I, I enjoy having a grappling hook. Move it to the warehouse? Okay, wait, where's all the shooting and all of the fun combat? Why? I just drop it here? Warehouse. New objective, talk to your... Can I grab the hammer? No. Okay, so we are on an airship. We're on a rad airship, apparently. And here come the Falcons. We owe them, apparently, a lot of resources. That's what the that's what the story says. Hey there. Hope you got good news for us. Oh. Wait, it double, where do you, how do you expect us to double the amount of things we're giving you by sunset? That doesn't even make sense in any com- Right. Hit the target with your pistol. Okay, pew, 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 pew. Okay, I don't have the pistol yet. I gotta pick it up. Could have just given it to me. Hold on, gotta reload it now. Look at that. I'm a crack shot. Hold E to repair. Repairing. Sail to the fueling station. Got it. Now we're getting somewhere. I finally get to be an airship pirate captain. This is tremendous. Here we go. Uh, okay. It's a little, it's a little shady. <gasps> I have cannons. Hold on. This just got... What? I have side cannons? Do these have ammo? Can I shoot them both at the same time? Not really. It does, and it has physics too. When I shoot this, it pushes the front of the ship. Wait, they're, they're air mines? Oh God, it's a hard stop. Ah! Everything's fine. Okay, was not aware there were gonna be landmines. 
Oh, you can change the angle of the cannons. Hey, that's cool. I assume there's a poison gas clouds of some sort. What is this? Oh, okay. All right, we're just gonna dock. Here we go. Okay. Can I? There we go. A little bit hard to get off the ship, but you know, we made it work. Hi, Ron. I was told to come talk to you. Okay, right. Kill the kill the monsters. Got it. Press and hold Y. Hold on. Press and hold Y? V. Okay, I don't know. I have full health. I don't know what letter that is. Oh, why would I want... Okay, so you can use your grappling hook, which is, you know, well and good until you realize that you're just going to pull the enemy directly to you. Reload. Let's grab them. And then boom, 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 boom. And then grab them. Yeah. Grab, shoot, combo. You can kind of get them stuck a little bit. And by the way, if you if you see, if you're noticing the lights in the back, how they're changing. Ah, oh, that's so cool. I will never get over that. It's such a cool effect. What is this? Is that a lamppost or something floating? Oh, I think it's a lamp. Oh, now we got to fly back. That's... Oh, how do we... Hold on. Can I fix that? Repair. Oh, our ship is still kind of... Okay, probably should have told the ship to stop. You know what? Let's just go forward. Here we go. You know, it doesn't... It does. Your ship doesn't stop right away. It, you know, anyone's fault could have been. I will say... That this moving from place to place is not the most fun. But you know what? That's just part of being a pirate airship captain. Hold on. Can I take out these bugs? These bugs have no idea what's about to happen. Okay. We are taking a stupid amount of damage because we hit a landmine. Oh. Ah, that is a lot of damage. Look at that. We wrapped almost perfectly around there. Okay, except for that part. And that part. I hit space, and we just... Just right off the ship. Because apparently we have a jump that I didn't know about. And he just... I, for some reason, did 180 damage to that guy. I think we're hitting them as soon as they get pulled in. Yeah. Why do these guys have spears? Seems a little weird that you would ransack a town called Guntown and all you had with you was a bunch of spears. Is that gonna blow up? Guy had no idea. Completely just not paying attention whatsoever. So it seems like if you get someone when they're not paying attention, you just instant kill them. So my jump does have a little bit of a cooldown. But what happens when I just go and hop on my ship and blast you with my ship cannon? What are you going to do then, smart guy? Oh, he's just leaving. Oh, wait, he's coming back. Well, which is... Okay, so that was Black Skylands Origins. I think Origins is just the this demo part. It's not, you know, obviously the full game. That's coming out later this summer. I think there's a lot here that's going to be very good. I think if you can customize your ship, if you can change the weapons, how it pilots, how it handles, um, there's obviously going to be different weapons. If there are especially character upgrades as well, that would be, um, that would definitely get me more interested in it. But already, this feels, this feels very similar to a game that I used to play called, it was called Heat Signature. It was a top-down, kind of low-poly, almost pixelated graphic, except that happened in space. And that game is so much fun. Oh, I played a ton of episodes of that back before my channel was really serious. I don't recommend that you go watch it because I'm pretty sure that content is garbage, much like the uh, old stuff that I used to make. Not saying that what I make now is not garbage, but that is just super garbage. Um, anyway, let's just move on to our last game here. I think it's been a great setup so far. Okay, so this is a game called Maelstrom. It came out this year. It's actually free to play, so you can play this for free. Right now, we're gonna try and hop in and see if we can get ourselves a game. I'll just do a free-for-all battle, see if we can find some people. I really don't know anything about how this is gonna turn out. Um, but being free to play, generally you can just hit like a quick play game and you can usually find out most, uh, most everything about a game 
if you just give it a you know give it a chance hop in see what you can do there was a uh, a tutorial that we could play i don't want to do that um generally i think you guys know this i feel like a game should be pretty well explained by just hopping in and trying can we just take this dude out right now oh okay so this is like a cpu i'm thinking here we go here we go switch up the guns we just use that to kind of get a little speed boost oh we tried oh oh there's a player here we go first player battle did he just like i think we hit him i i, I do think we hit him it's extraordinarily hard though to uh to aim this we're gonna take him out right now watch this ba-boom i don't know what we just did but i think we did damage what do you think you're gonna do with that here we go we're gonna uh oh uh oh watch this we're gonna grab his ship with anchors we're gonna board him oh we just actually random and did not hold on we've done no damage wait hold on we hit him but we're not really doing we're not really doing damage to him right now which is you know what? let's switch to three oh hard turn I don't know what we... Okay, we're in the least ideal position. Oh, our cloak. He has no idea where we are now. Okay, we're just being pushed. Hold. How do I... Can I fire backwards? Yes. Yes, I can. I don't think I'm doing any damage to this guy. We, we hit him, kind of. God, this is... These controls are not tremendous. Okay, we, like, knocked his armor down, I guess. But we're just, like, right in his attack spot. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If you would just stop sailing for two seconds, I could just board you. Hold on, it's not ready. Oh, we're, we've been boarded? I don't really know what's happening at this moment. I know that our ship is on top of their ship. We just cloaked again. We just hit him with all of our cannons and it felt like it did zero damage. Board! What is happening? We're just not doing any damage. I have no I I have no idea. I I have absolutely no idea. We were on top of them like shooting them with all of our guns. It just did literally nothing. It's very difficult to maneuver around. So first you have to understand that your ship is like always moving forward on its own and it's really hard to turn properly to make sure that your cannons are actually kind of aligned properly. Increasing ship tiers opens up new strategies. Ships at tier four through like nine are equivalent in power. Our board in action is 10 seconds away. We're gonna sneak right up next to them, board them and then hammer them with cannons. Ability is not ready. I feel like I'm being shot and can't do anything to return fire. Please turn. Please turn. I feel like we did damage, but okay, this is not working. Oh, wait, I have bat cannons? I don't know what the rest of these, uh-oh. Someone else is coming to, coming to join the battle. Stop, hard stop. Fire! Why are guns not ready? Board. Board. Fire. Fire the cannons. Fire all of the cannons right now while they're stuck. Okay, we are dying severely. I... Oh, now they're firing at other ships. 
Uh oh, you're you're boned. Oh, you just took a full volley. Oh, we're ramming him. Board. I have him pinned. He has nowhere to go. That's bad for us. It just. Okay, listen, here's the thing. Uh, I'm gonna say I came out on top of that, but here's the thing. I trapped him in the corner, right? And then we both died when the sea monster came out of the sea and destroyed us both instantly. Here's the thing, because everyone always, uh, you know, they, they have this opinion that like, oh, you only played, you know, 30 minutes of it. How do you know if you like a game? You, you don't know anything about it, right? But. If I'm not having fun in the first 20 to 30 minutes, I'm not going to have fun six hours from now. Uh, so that's the thing, because the basics of this game where you just have to go in circles a whole lot because both players are just trying to, like, turn their ships. That's not fun. Uh, if I could go first person and then hop on their ship and, like, try to attack them and stuff, kind of see a thieves like, that would be fun. If it was Guns of Icarus, where you could fly around in the sky and, like, do shots from super far away and, you know, you can actually pilot better, that would be fun. But this just... It's not fun to control. And that's the entire game. So I'm going to say that this for me is a pass, but it's free to play. You can go and download it right now and prove me wrong and have a great time. And you know what? That would be tremendous. This just is not for me. So let's go ahead and wrap up. Here's the thing, you know, not every game is going to be an A plus 10 out of 10 winner that I agree with. But the thing is, is that you saw kind of what happened there. And that's always the idea. The idea is not to tell you, oh, this game is going to be great. This game, this game is going to be awful. And here's my empirical evidence as to why. It's really just let me play a bunch of different games that you guys don't know about. And often, often, not always, but often, there will be one in that set of three that I play that you guys, that it jives with you, right? You say, man, I, like today, right? It may be, one of you guys may be such a naval enthusiast that you're like, I've been waiting my entire existence, my entire life for a game like that one uh, to come out so I could play and have naval combat and there would be Krakens and stuff like that. Maybe that is your jam, right? Don't let me slow you down, it's free. You can just go and play it right now, right? Um, but hopefully, as always, you find at least something in this group of three that kind of, you know, rings your bell, that makes you excited, something like that. And then you can wish list or go talk about it or buy it outright if you wanted to do that. Or play the demo. You know, there's the demos for a lot of these that uh, I played today. You just play right now free. It doesn't cost you anything. So why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? What, are, what else are you doing? It's Sunday. You got nothing else to do. Don't even try to tell me you got something on. You got something going on. You don't. Okay, you don't. Uh, anyway, let, let's just wrap that one up. So that that's, you know, that's your three games for this week. As always, got to thank my Patreon subs. You know who you are. I got to be honest, I'm, I'm getting real close to breaking down and just buying an Index or an otherwise a VR headset. I want to play some VR games. But yeah, that's it. That's Lost on Steam 51. Again, we just take a look at three games and hopefully you find something you like. And until next time, burn bright, everybody. <laughs> Thank you.